We all need minerals for our everyday life. But Europe is facing a problem because it is more and more dependent on the import of raw materials. But advances in technology allows us to mine what could not be mined in the past. There are thousands of abandoned and flooded mines in the world. While most of them have not been gazed on by human eyes for decades, they hide potential treasures. But do we need humans at all to reveal such secrets? Tiny mineral samples are lined up on a desk lab in Hungary. The researchers are developing a device capable of gathering data on minerals with the use of spectral information, even underwater. For a detailed geological survey, this is just one of many gadgets they will eventually need. If engineers could manage to deliver all these devices to the right spots of the flooded mines, Geologists could decide if it is worthwhile restarting a more detailed exploration. The exploration of an underwater mine tunnel by humans is extremely dangerous. Moreover, even the most experienced divers can only visit the relatively shallow parts. To be able to evaluate the mineral potential, samples must be collected manually and analysed in laboratories. Is there any technological solution to do this more efficiently and without risking human lives? The answer is a specially designed robot called UX-1, which will autonomously map the abandoned flooded mines and gather valuable geological and mineralogical information. The Technical University of Tampere is designing the mechanics. Inesctech is providing the know-how of underwater robotics and onboard mapping software. The Technical University of Madrid is programming the autonomous navigation systems. Resources Computing International Limited is producing the post-processing and data visualization software. While the scientific instrumentation is developed at the University of Mischkoltz, including the water sampler, pH and conductivity sensors, and various imaging devices. In addition, the robot will detect magnetic field parameters and gamma radiation. The radiation meter is calibrated in the lab with a piece of uranium ore. The most challenging task is the miniaturization. All the gadgets have to fit in a spherical robot only 60 centimeters in diameter and already packed with machinery and sensors. And if that is not enough, all of this has to work underwater. So even for the primary tests, watertight casing has to be manufactured for every instrument. The planned maximum working depth of the robot is 500 meters, where the pressure is 50 times more than on the surface. Each piece has to withstand this incredible load including the glass port of the multispectral camera. For the first field test, the developers mount all the sensors on one frame to be able to submerge and test them together. Scientists choose an abandoned quarry as a testing location. They have been fine-tuning their gadgets for long months. Soon, everything will be ready for deployment. Because it is only a lake, sample minerals have to be placed in front of the multispectral camera. We have seen it working in a tub, but now it will face a more demanding environment. The UX-1 will represent a new technology line, a completely new class of mine explorer service robots capable of operating without remote control. The test frame is far from being autonomous. Therefore, the team has to use winches to adjust depth and a boat to carry it to the right spot. To be sure that everything is working fine, the whole procedure is supervised by divers. Above the deepest point of the lake, 
they have the chance to test the instruments at various depths and visibility. The multispectral camera records grayscale images. But as the samples are illuminated by LEDs emitting different wavelengths, geologists can gather more spectral information than they would from a single colour image. The testing went fine, but these were only the instruments responsible for geological data. At the end, the robot will need to reach the deepest mine parts and return back to the surface, all on its own. After the controlled tests, the robots will be sent to field missions, coordinated by the Geological Survey of Slovenia. The UX-1 will have to prove itself in challenging mine sites. Ujarisa in Portugal, the Idria Mercury Mine in Slovenia, and finally, at Ecton Mine in the United Kingdom, the most difficult one, which has been flooded to river levels since the 1850s. There are several consortium members not already mentioned. European Federation of Geologists is carrying out the promotion. La Palma Research Center is responsible for technology transfer and exploitation. Geoplano's role is the establishment of the new company at the end of the project, and Geomontan is responsible for commercialization. The EDM from Portugal, the Idria Mercury Heritage Management Center, and the Ecton Mine Educational Trust, which manage the test sites, are also full members of the consortium, uniquely able to offer their own knowledge and experience. The UX-1 is a robot developed within a UNEXMIN project, funded by the European Commission in the frame of a European Union Horizon 2020 Framework Programme for Research and Innovation.